So guys, today's video is going to be a review on Lux Order Perfume Oils that I have right here and have been wearing for the last couple of months. So now I'm totally ready to share with you my experience on them. Make sure to keep on watching to find out all the details, but also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please give this video a huge thumbs up. And once you're done with that, we can get right into this bag. So hello and welcome everyone to today's collection overview of Lux Order Perfume Oils, which is a duet based company that is a wholesale and retailer of pure perfume oils, the selection of which is really impressive on their official website, so make sure to check it out because there you can find impressions on some popular designer perfumes for men and women and also unisex ones from niche brands. But here I have this cute box with some of their top sellers and I really want to get started with a few of my favorites. But first, let's have a look at this beautiful and very convenient roll-on bottle because that way you can apply it right on your skin or roll it all over your clothing. But be careful because oils can stain sometimes. But with that being said, now let's talk about this fragrance that was inspired by one of the most popular ones out there and that is, of course, Aventus. That I believe is still a signature scent of a lot of people. Let me know what do you feel about it, but I really like to wear it myself, despite the fact it's actually a masculine perfume, because the tropical note of pineapple that opens the composition is very playful, together with black currant, it's very crisp and fruity start that later turns into something aromatic because of the woods and herbs that are also in there, so the feeling is very sexy, well put together and uh, wealthy, wearing this beautiful fragrance that is extremely long-lasting because this is actually a pure perfume oil without any alcohol that actually helps diffuse the fragrance but that's for it is way more fleeting than these perfume oils which can be worn on their own or you can just roll them and they will create the perfect base to you know uh, layer it with something else so with that being said Aventus is a great fragrance that my boyfriend wears and I do myself and I find it's just like a, a great go-to and perfect for any kind of situation but my top favorite from this collection is this Exclusive Bois d'Agent that was actually inspired by Dior's Bois d'Agent and if you ask me are these similar I need to be honest with you not really, because I remember Dior's perfume to be this muted vanilla mixed with delicate powdery iris and this is extremely fruity, bubbly, and sometimes I have a feeling of bathing in berries and fruits because it is so fresh and juicy and fun and uplifting. I actually like to go really heavy on it, apply it all over my skin, sometimes also on the hair and closing, and it lasts all day long and it smells so nice positive and optimistic. I actually want to gift it to some of my friends because I really like when people around me smell great. So it's one of my top favorites. But something else I've been enjoying a lot is Sycamore that was inspired by a very expensive perfume from Chanel's exclusive collection. And in case you're a fan of that type of fragrances, of dark woods, of uh, something that is really grounding, that's exactly what it is. I can't really say I've been wearing it uh, most often but some days during the evening at dusk I feel it is so special so it is definitely way more affordable than that Chanel perfume so that's for I think this is definitely a must try for those who like that fragrance but also if you're a fan of another pretty popular perfume Baccarat Rouge 540, I think this is safe uh, to try as well and I actually prefer it over the Baccarat because it's sweeter and less medicinal. So if you like that style of perfume, you know, with saffron, with amber, with kind of like powdered jasmine and some medicinal sweetness, I highly recommend you this one. It is super long lasting, it is ultra strong and it projects really well. I don't wear it too often because I'm not into this style of fragrances, but I know a lot of people enjoy them, so that's something you might want to check out. And it smells slightly 
different than Baccarat, which can be nice as well, especially if you're looking for something that will give you a very similar vibe to your favorite fragrance and at the same time you won't smell the difference. And another one like that is Chanel number no. 5 because I was ready for some serious aldehydes and a vintage fragrance when this is definitely a way more modern and elegant take on a classic Chanel number no. 5 and although there are still aldehydes and clean musky flowers, I feel they are way more modern than old-fashioned Chanel number no. 5. So I really like to wear it to work. It's just like like this mass appealing, easygoing, very elegant and formal type of fragrance that smells really nice on skin and is also something that people are comfortable with. So another one but for men from a designer brand would be Savage and it smells of a typical masculine perfume, aromatic, fresh and I definitely need to tell you the story how we had some friends coming over for dinner and I've just applied it all over them and they've been smelling the entire evening just so good that I feel like you can choose a few of these fragrances and actually make some gifts to your loved ones because these are very long-lasting, they have incredible, you know, like um, expensive feeling and at the same time they are quite affordable. So you can buy bigger quantities or actually create some home fragrances, diffusers, candles with them and uh, I really like that approach. So talking about, you know, people smelling good around me, I I gave this fragrance a Rosa Majestica that was inspired by Ambre Nui to my grandma and I can't even describe you how bold the sillage of it is because when she wears it the whole house smells of this beautiful gemmy rose and oriental amber. It is really warm, it smells super similar to Ambre Nui and I really like that they have inspirations not only for designer perfumes and niche ones but also for those extremely luxurious and expensive expensive exclusives from designer brands. So with that being said, there is another one from Dior's collection, Oud Isfahan. And um, to be honest with you, it's a little bit challenging for me to pull it off because it's one of those bold, almost incense wood fragrances that gives me the impression of going into the church or a temple, you know, where they burn some sacred woods and resins and um, the air is really heavy because the windows weren't open for a long time. So yeah, it's just a little bit too much for me personally, but in case you love Oud Isfahan or that kind of fragrance, you might actually enjoy it because it's super strong. I mean, like all of these, including the Voice of the Snake, which was inspired by the super pricey perfume from Alchemist Garden Collection by Gucci that my mom described as the scent of old socks. And that's because it's that type of skanky Oud that smells a little bit dirty and these are so similar that I absolutely don't see the point splurging on that one if you have this. So if you like the voice of the snake and you are looking for maybe something more affordable so you don't repurchase the original one, I recommend you that. But my top favorite number one favorite from Lux Order would be Cellier and I do enjoy Byredo's fragrance because it smelled so atmospheric of kind of drinking the tea when it is raining outside like it has been in Germany all spring long and that's where I've been really loving to wear it out because it's this very comforting cozy scent of the woods, really beautiful dark tea and there is some warmth without being in a gourmand or whatever. It's it's still an aromatic perfume and it smells amazing. Actually, I've rolled it over my teddy hoodie and put it in the wardrobe and then I came into the room and the air smelled of this beautiful woody tea. So yeah, I like to roll it all over myself like that and then just rub it onto the closing. Yeah, very essential, but this is the way you want to wear these perfume oils. Sometimes I even apply them on Benny's closing the night before work because sometimes he actually forgets to apply perfume in the morning in a hurry and because these are so ultra long lasting, I mean like they are not beast mode but the quality is incredible, they will last for many hours and smell amazing. He actually gets compliments a lot. He asked me what was the fragrance I applied on his closing because the 
co-workers wanted to know so I highly recommend you to check out their official website please let me know which fragrance from their collection should I review next I'm really interested in some Frederick Malls just imagine the portrait of a lady in a perfume oil oh, amazing and also they have Killian's X Nihilo so I am excited to hear from you if you have any experience with perfume oils, maybe you know some other brands and if you have any questions left or whatever it might be, I'm really excited for your feedback and if you enjoyed watching today's video and found it helpful, please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up, don't forget to follow me on my social media to stay in touch and of course subscribe to my channel and activate the bell. On that note, thank you so much for watching, have a great day and we'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!